Hello, this is Dave from Retire Time Productions, and we finally got to the video where we're going to be doing the V-tail mixing for the Mini Talon. Now we're going to be spending some time in the Mission Planner setting up the parameters for V-tail mixing. So let's get started. Welcome to Retire Time Productions. So first, in your radio, you need to have the aileron elevator throttle rudder configuration. So that's A E T R set up in your radio. And make sure your RC map and your advanced parameter tree is set up like this. With the pitch 2, the roll 1, the throttle 3, and the yaw 4. And then under initial setup, mandatory hardware, do the radio calibration again to make sure all of your control sticks are at the full ranges for all of your different channels. So I have the tail section just taped together here so we can use this as a test bed to program the parameters for the V-tail mixing. So here's the instructions and it's basically just one page so it's really not too hard. Now up at the top here I've drawn a little map just to show you how the RC channels relate to the wiring. So this is RC1, channel 1, and that's the aileron. 2 is the elevator, 3 is the throttle, and 4 is the rudder, which is the way we have our radio set up. Now, the channels we're going to be using for the mixing are the elevator and the rudder. So RC2 elevator is going to go to the right-hand servo on the V-tail, and then channel 4, the rudder, is going to go to the left-hand servo on the V-tail. So these values that you see here throughout the instructions are just parameters that are within the mission planner in the advanced parameters list. So the first thing we have to do for setting up the mixing is to set RC2 reverse and RC4 reverse to a 1 and then the KFF underscore RDDR mix to a 0 0.5. So let's go ahead and connect. And after connecting, let's go to configuration and tuning. And I think it's easiest to use the full parameter tree. So let's just go in there. So the first thing we need to do is change or make sure RC2 and RC4 reverse are on a 1. So we'll scroll down here. Let's check RC2 first. That's a 1. We'll go to RC4. That's a 1. Okay, now we need to go to the KFF section, which is right here. So we'll open that, and we need to make sure this one, the RDDR mix, is on 0 0.5, 0 0.5, and it is. So that's about 50% rudder mix will be applied during aileron movement. So the next thing, if we take a look at the information, is we got to set the V-tail output to a 1, and then if that isn't what we want, we can try 2, 3, or 4. Alright, so let's go down to the bottom. And we'll change this to a 1 right here. Now, we've done all the changes we're going to do. Let's write the parameters. Okay, parameters are now written. And we should be good. So now with the APM still plugged into the computer and connected to Mission Planner, go ahead and turn on the RC radio and then connect the battery to the APM so that they bind together. Then use the mode switches on the radio to set fly-by-wire A mode. Then you can pitch the APM forward and see what the V-tail mix is doing. If the tail sections move in opposite directions, then you need to change VTail underscore output to a different value. Instead of 1, make it a 2, 3, or 4, and see how it does. Now, as you can see, the right-hand VTail servo is plugged into channel 2 right here on the APM, right there. And the left-hand VTail servo is plugged into channel 4 on the APM. Later on, we'll plug the aileron servos into channel 1 right here. Now let's turn on the radio. Welcome to Toronto's. And then we'll plug in the battery. Then we'll put our mode switches 
into fly-by-wire A to check the control surfaces. So when I pitch the APM forward, you can see I'm getting the wrong action. Both surfaces should move together, but they're not. So let's go in and change the VTAIL underscore output to a 2, and then we'll try again. So just going ahead and putting a 2 in and writing the parameters. All right, we'll try it again. Pitch forward. Now they're moving together now, but they're moving the wrong direction. So maybe we want to try 3. So let's go to 3. It's just some experimentation here. So we go to 3 and write the parameters again. Okay, we'll pitch forward. Now they're moving the right direction and they're moving together. So this is correct. Now if it had been the wrong direction, we could have changed RC2 reverse to a minus 1. All right, now let's try rolling to the right and we'll see what the right V-tail flap does. And it moves up, moving the tail to the right, which moves the plane to the left, which is correct, counteracting the right-hand movement of the APM with a left-hand turn would be correct. If it was wrong, we could have changed or reversed RC4 reverse with a minus 1. Now let's put the radio in manual mode so we can check to make sure the manual controls work. So pulling back on the stick and your V-tail flaps go up, raising the nose of the plane, this is correct. Same with down, that'll make it go down, so everything is looking good there. Now let's try the yaw, and we can see the left hand one move up, the right hand one move down, this will make the tail go to the left, which will make the plane go to the right, and that's correct. Now I'm going to plug in the aileron right here. The aileron, I only have one, but I will use a Y splitter later and have two. I just have a left wing. But when we go right, the left aileron goes down, moving the plane to the right. So that is correct too. Now if anything had been wrong with manual mode, we could have reversed the channel in the Tyrannus simply by doing this. Okay, finally, you can adjust your KFF rudder mix to a value that gives you the right amount of rudder movement for coordinated turns on your plane. And they say this may require some in-flight tuning, so probably you'll test that in-flight. Now here's an example of KFF underscore rudder mix. When I'm in manual mode, I'm in manual mode right here, and I make a turn, you can see I don't get any deflection at all right here from my V-tail. But in all the other modes which use the APM, for example, if I put it in stabilized mode or fly-by-wire A, either one, when I move the ailerons to make a turn, I get a little bit of mix in for rudder movement. And you can see this, that both the V-tail surfaces are moving when I'm making those turns, adding a little bit of rudder into the mix. And that can be adjusted with the KFF rudder mix. Also, we'll be testing the gain in flight, the mixing gain, which can be adjusted. Right now, it's sitting at 0 0.5, which is a good place to be to go ahead and test it. So 0 0.5 is okay. Important notes are that if you do upgrade your firmware, you'll lose your V-tail mix and have to go redo it. So keep that in mind. And also when you get to the field, go into fly-by-wire A mode before launch and make sure everything is working correctly. Also, you may want to check manual mode as usual to make all the control surfaces go the right way. Here,